recommend a dental for her. This tooth is very loose. Um, these teeth are literally about to fall out right here. Good evening, everyone. You're gonna have to bear with me. I do have the AC on. It is pretty toasty outside. It's 80 degrees in here. So I've gotta leave the AC on for a little bit. This is Mia. This belongs to one of my new neighbors. We just moved into an apartment complex and I have gained a lot of new clients um, because they, they live right here and I can just groom them in the parking lot. So uh, they just want these guys cleaned up. Basically gonna do a summer cut on this guy. He'll be in a different video. And then on her, they were like, we don't really care, just clean her up. So I am going to start and I'm going to take a 30 blade. And just going to attach this. I think I'm going to see what a half inch comb looks like. And what I'm doing here is just taking off some of this excess fur. So then when I go to bathe her, there's not a lot of extra hair to wash. It's okay, girlfriend, it's okay. There's a little bit of matting in here, but it's okay. This girl is 12 years old. She is pretty old. I really do think that a good bath and blowout is going to do great for her. Um, but we do want to get a lot of this coat off because that's what the owner wants. Just really cleaned up. So I'm only gonna be able to cut some of this and then some of it's just gonna have to be brushed out and bathed out, blow, blown out. It's okay, girlfriend, it's okay, it's okay. I know, I know. So I'm just taking off all of the excess coat right now. It's okay, no, 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 it's okay. And this is just going to allow me to dry her more quickly. And we'll use less products in the bath. Quite a bit of matting in the belly area, but that's okay. Actually, so this is a 30 blade. Just going to clean these up a little bit. They don't have to be perfect. Oh, my girlfriend. This is my second dog for the day. I'm gonna switch to a 10. Some pretty good sized matting in here and that is perfectly fine because we're going to remove all that anyway. 
Um, what happens is this hair is pretty fine and it's long so when it rubs together due to the hair texture um, it can become matted. Hi buddy. Hi buddy. Okay, so just like that. And now I'm going to take this brush and I want to gently work out these little bitty mats. So it's just a short pin slicker brush. Everything I am using is linked down below in the description box. Good girl. And you're being a good boy, mister. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. We gotta brush that out. Turn her. All of these will um, probably blow out with the dryer because it's just undercoat that has not been shed, but it's not severe enough to need to shave it. Now there is some here in the armpit area that I am going to shave out with a tin because that area does hurt. See that mat right there? Turn her, it's okay. And there's some in here too. So I'm just going to it's okay and I'm pretty sure all this will come out with the bath so um, I am gonna see how she does with the Dremel I found this amazing new Dremel head and I it it's linked down below it is amazing it is much better than the diamond tip or the diamond um, Dremel heads. Good girl. So these are very short. I'm just going over them very quickly. girl it's okay it's okay so the reason I use the Dremel is it gets closer to that quick and it helps it recede to where the nail is not just it's okay it's not just going to keep growing um, because if we allow the quick to keep growing what happens is those nails get so long and it starts to deform the foot and it starts to deform the way the dog walks and we don't want that. It's okay. Good 
good girl. So you can see it works just like the Dremel band, the regular Dremel band, except you're not gonna have to change this out every couple of dogs. And it's hollow in, inside. It's okay. It's okay. All right, so now it's bath time. I'm going to, excuse me, buddy. These are my clean towels. I'm just going to pull this out and we're gonna put this up here. I'm gonna turn this down. So it's not so loud. You guys can hear me. Just going to take, excuse me, buddy. Take her over here. Is that you, buddy? It's okay. Nice warm water. Huh, what do you think, bud? I'm just gonna get her all wet. When you're bathing a dog, you wanna make sure you are completely saturating their coat before you even think about applying soap or shampoo. It's okay, girlfriend. I know. I know. I have to get your head wet, though. I'm just going to let this fill up. She's using unscented Castile soap for the first bath. I know some people disagree with me on that, but it is dog safe. And it really does cut through the dirt and oils. Probably water on the camera. I will clean it off in just a second. So this is just the first bath. Um, all my goal is with this bath is to get the majority of the dirt and oils off. I also do the anal glands with this one and it just gets everything soaking. I'm gonna drain, turn this off. And she has something up here, and I'm not sure what it is. Um, oh, it's just dirt and debris. That's all it is. It just got stuck up there. Yeah. Highly recommend a dental for her. This tooth is very loose. Um, these teeth are literally about to fall out right here. I will tell them and yeah they're my neighbors but I want them to know um, if there's something concerning with their dog and I know I'm not a vet but I think it's very important to let anyone know that um, their dog has something going on So this is just Plum Silky Shampoo. And I'm 
going to add some water. Scrub, scrub, scrub. And you know, I, ha I do have families with multiple dogs and sometimes I do both of them. Um, most of the time I do both of them in here at the same time. It's just less worry for the owner, you know. Um, they only have to bring them to me once and then I groom them. There's just some feces stuck on there. gonna take some more and it's crucial to get coats absolutely clean because um, your cut will be so much better when your coat is completely clean completely dry Hey, it's okay, girlfriend. I just gotta wash your neck. It's okay. I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm just trying to get you clean. That's it. See? Yeah, it's okay. I'm just trying to get you clean. Yeah. That's it. I just want you to be clean. So I'm going to take some face wash and I know she does not like her head wet. I know girlfriend, I know, it's okay, it's okay. We gotta get your head and ears clean. All right, so now all I'm gonna do, woo, 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 is rinse. I get asked all the time of why do you use a GoPro? That's why, because I am working in a very wet environment and if I don't, I would greatly risk damaging a camera. Girl, it's okay. Good girl. Girlfriend, I gotta wash your head. I know, I know, I know. I gotta wash your head though. It's okay. Girlfriend. Me? It's okay. There you go. I gotta get the rest of your head. I know. I know. I gotta get your snout. I gotta get your snout. I know. It's okay. There we go. There we go. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. I gotta get you rinsed off though. Okay, so now that she is rinsed.
Okay. Put this up, we're gonna drain. And usually this is the time when I would open the vents, but it is extremely humid outside because there are storms on the way, if they're not already here. So I have to leave the AC on for me to be able to dry um, these dogs. So I don't know how she's going to do with the dryer. I am going to put Happy Hoodie on her though. I know. Just going to slide. It's okay. It's okay. Slide that underneath her. And I am gonna take some Shoshin and I'm only going to put it on this belly area where there's a little bit of matting and hope that that blows out. I'm gonna find one that's already been shrunk. So that way. Okay. Get my ear protection too. And this is when I will turn down the sound so you guys don't have to listen to this. Oh, Winston, buddy. Sit. Good boy. All right. From the moment that we met You were the way Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know Talk for hours and never slept Two silhouettes on the concrete stairs You watch the sun as it slowly crept From the horizon to the place we made Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know drying her because when she bit me I'm pretty sure that one of her or multiple teeth came loose and I I don't want her teeth falling out on me so we're done with that 
Um, if I need to muzzle, I will because, not because I'm worried about getting bit. I don't want her injuring her teeth because they're so fragile in there. <laughs> you don't like this on there, do you, buddy? Here, come over here. Come here. You gotta watch out. There you go. I'm really worried about her teeth. And what I really need to do is need to brush up here and get these little bitty mats out. Um, There's a pretty good size mat right here. And all this in here has little bitty mats in it. You okay, girlfriend? You okay? Hmm? I know. Okay, I'm just trying to get these little bitty mats out. Okay, uh, I'm not trying to get you. It's okay. It's okay. I just want to brush. That's it. So I'm just brushing out what I can, and then I'm gonna cut out the rest with a 10. Okay, girlfriend. So I am going to cut all of this out. Just the matting. Um, I'm not gonna cut the rust out because I want it to still look natural. So you won't, you'll barely be able to even tell that I shaved that. Oh, Winston, oh, sweet boy. Okay, so now um, I am going to trim this tail real quick. This is a paid groom. Just 
this matting I cut out. I do not like tails dragging on the ground like this. So I'm just going to pick her up. I'm gonna find the end of her tail. I don't want that dragging on the ground. So I'm just gonna cut that off. So now I am going to just put back on the 30 blade. It's okay, girlfriend. Baby girl, you won't let me brush, you won't let me go through. It's okay. It's matted in there. She just scared me. I wasn't expecting her to do that. Um, it's just matted in there. And that is, I'm trying to brush it out because I know baby girl, I know. Hey, I gotta brush it. What, baby? Ooh, she's just so fragile. I don't... I'm trying to be as gentle as I can. I just don't want to... What, baby? I gotta get it out, baby girl. So I'm not, I'm, I'm going to muzzle her, but it's not because she's being aggressive. It's because I don't want her injuring her teeth. Um, I want to make that very clear. I'm not scared of getting bit by her. I just don't want her to injure her teeth. Girlfriend. Not hurting her. Not. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, I don't know. Don't know what to do. It's okay. I know. It's okay. She's so scared. Girlfriend, it's okay. So I am a little afraid of her biting me, um, but I'm more worried about her teeth. So she's not biting to hurt me because it doesn't hurt. She just doesn't like what I'm doing. Hey, yeah, you're hurting your teeth, baby girl, and I don't want that. Yeah, you're hurting yourself, and I don't want you to be doing that. Okay, we can't be doing all that. I just gotta get it buckled. It's on. Nope. It's okay. It's okay. See? It's okay. You're okay? It's good. I know. You don't like your head touched. It's okay. Okay. You're safe. I'm not going to hurt you, I promise. You're making yourself bleed, girlfriend. It's okay. See? It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to give you a haircut so you feel better, okay? Can we do that? Are we okay to do that? See? I don't want to hurt you. I promise. I do not want to hurt you, okay? I promise. Has another groomer hurt you before? What do you think, Winston? Good girl. 
Good girl. Okay. See? Good girl. You're okay. I'm gonna have to call it on her because of her teeth. Um, I'm just gonna get it off, baby girl. That's it. I'm just gonna get it off. <sighs> and this is the this can be a problem with older dogs um, and it sucks when their teeth are not well taken care of. Yep, that one came loose. And I see, I just want to see. Mm hmm So this tooth right here has completely come, come loose. Um, it's completely come out. And that's what's causing the bleeding. I just don't want her swallowing it. So I'm actually going to save that tooth and I will show them. Um, um, from now on, I'm just gonna do the best I can and I'm just gonna explain to them, hey, like, look. Um, I don't even know where that tooth went. It's right there. And it sucks, like these videos suck, especially when like, these are my neighbors and, but this is not a me doing, this is, these teeth are in such bad condition. And I'm not blaming the owner, I'm just stating facts, cause that's what I do here is this channel is for education. Um, but I'm just gonna do, do what I can. And I may have to do quite a bit of scissoring. So I think that's what I'm going to do right now is
trying to figure out how I'm gonna groom the rest of her. Like I still need to get the length on the rest of this body. Come here, girlfriend. Because I know some are going to be curious as to what I'm going to say or ask um, when I return the dogs. And I will just say, hey, you know, did you know she doesn't like around her head being messed with? Do you know why? Um, and if they don't, then I will just say, hey, she didn't like around her head being messed with. I did the best I could. Um, her teeth are in really bad shape. And it looks like, you know, I'm not a vet, but it looks like several of them may need to be pulled. Um, she did bite me and one came out um, because it was so loose. tell my clients if there's something going on like they have bad teeth or whatever and I say it in a way where I am not being judgmental because there's no help when you do that and um, I'm not saying with the this owner in particular but just any owner may not even know that those things are going on and if you don't tell them and you sit there and you're judgmental about it how is that going to help them or the dog ever? It's just not. So I tell them non-judgmentally and I just say, hey, her teeth are really loose. They look like they're, you know, about to fall out and they, some of them probably need to be pulled. Have you seen, has she gone to the vet recently? This is definitely not going to be the best groom I've done, but you gotta kinda work with what you're given, so. sweet girl. Oh. 
So all I'm doing is just trimming this by hand. All this in here is matted. See, now that I've cut through those, I can actually go in there and cut that the way it's supposed to be cut. And it may be a little short in places, but it's gonna look better than just leaving it. Just brushing very, very gently. Mia. Hey, Mia. Mia. Okay. Oh, girl. girl. So I'm going to take my thinning shears because they'll take off less. I can get closer to the skin. It's pretty matted in there. girl so with a dog like this I will put in her chart um, just to go slow around her head Fall off. I know. I'm just trying to get your chest.
You're okay. I know. So this dog is taking me a lot longer than expected, but I don't care. Um, because I want her to look good. And I have to think about my reputation because this is someone that lives in my apartment complex and I'm the only groomer here. So I need to make sure that she looks good. Come here, girlfriend. It's okay. I just want to see. That's it. Good girl. Good girl, Mia. Yeah, good girl. I just want to blend this a little bit better. Mia. Hey, sweet boy. You're next. I really need her to look at me so I can see in here. Mia. Okay, so now I really wish if anyone at Hanvey is listening, watching this video, I really wish they would make the option to have a different color tabletop. Um, because when you're working like on a dog like this that has a lot of white or a lot of brown, they kind of blend in with this. It, they need a different color tabletop um, option, like a green, like a bright green or a light purple, something that's going to contrast and you're going to be able to tell a lot better. This is called nitpicking <laughs> and I just want this to be blended so it's not so choppy looking. I'm just using my thinning shears.
here, sweet girl. I'm just chilling, huh, Winston? I'm being a good boy. Okay, so there's a little bit of blending that needs to happen in here. Always forget that's on. And I know some people are gonna be like, how it's so loud. Um, I like white noise, so it doesn't bother me. Definitely will put in her notes to take it slow around her head. So all I'm doing is folding her ear in half and just gently brushing and then trimming it. They had these ears pretty short, so that's what I'm gonna do. Excuse me, buddy. Excuse me, buddy.
You're so cute. Okay, now... I really need to take this off and trim the paw pads so I can actually trim those feet. Yeah. It's okay, girlfriend. You're okay, girlfriend. It's okay. Winston, are you talking? He let out a sigh. Come here, girlfriend. I gotta have you this way. What, Winston? <laughs> what are you talking about, mister? Getting close, girlfriend. 
getting super close to being done. I'm not trying to grab, I'm just looking. I think that's about as good as you're gonna get, girlfriend. I think she looks pretty dang good for what we just went through. So, just gonna clean this up a little bit. I'm gonna thin this a little bit. able to tell it just takes some of that hair out and it lightens that tail so it's not so heavy and it won't be so prone to getting matted do want to blend this a little bit better back here though And that is gonna be as good as it's gonna get. So I have my hand on her. Because I am doing him next and they're from the same family I do not clean in between and I clean up after and I remember all the blades and everything that I use and so all I'm going to do very quickly is take this off turn this on and just soak all this up so I can take after pictures and then all this stuff gets thrown in there and it will be washed before it is placed on another dog there is a really bad virus going around here in Oklahoma and so I am taking extra precautions to make sure um, everything is clean even uh, some of our local shelters have shut down because it's so bad so I am making sure to clean and disinfect everything in between every family. Girlfriend, we gotta put this on so you're safe. Just for a minute. And that's not even around your head. So I'm just gonna 
through that. And so she is all done and ready to go. And I'm glad I didn't call it because we worked through it and we got through it and got her finished, didn't we? You're so cute. Yeah, and you feel better? You know, say I don't like my head messed with. This is a rib sticking out. It's not hair that's been sticking out. There's a rib um, right there that's sticking out. So I think she looks great. Hopefully you are subscribed so you will see when his video comes out. And I'll see you guys later.